Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Thank you so much for joining us here on The Wax. It is May 13th. I'm Roger Suzanne. And I'm Nicole Nalepa. Thanks for joining us. But first, we have a lot to cover. We have some breaking news. Absolutely. We do need to check today's forecast as well. And we have meteorologist Melissa Cole standing by with the latest. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, guys. Yeah, we actually have a really nice day in store for us today. We have a lot of sunshine out there as the sun is up. We also have a bit of fog, so just be mindful of that as you're heading out to start your day. Otherwise, lots of sunshine. And we are tracking some showers, but really not till the middle part of the week. So if you have outdoor plans today or tomorrow, things are looking pretty, pretty good. Visibilities are reduced. They are getting better in some areas. The Connecticut River Valley is improving, but still reduced in some of our hill towns and in and around Waterbury. And fog won't be much of an issue past 8 a.m. this morning. Temperatures outside right now are in the 40s. We have 40s to even lower 50s along the shoreline. And here's where we're headed this afternoon. Upper 60s to lower 70s, about 70 in Hartford, 71 in Enfield, mid to upper 60s along the shoreline. So really a great day out there today. And again, we'll talk about those showers heading our way midweek in just a bit. Let's check the roads. Good morning, Caitlin. Hey, good morning, Melissa. Good morning, everybody. Clicking over to 702. If you're heading out the door right now, heading to work, getting the kids ready to go to school, your drive times and speeds, uh, they're slower than average here this morning. And that's because we have a crash that we're dealing with right in Hartford. So 84 eastbound Waterbury to Hartford, that 50 minute ride time. You're going to want to budget in some extra travel time here this morning because of that incident. Uh, 95 southbound New Haven to the George Washington Bridge. 101 minute drive time there. So typical delays especially as you're heading down toward Fairfield County. The Parkway also backing up with more uh, heavier reds and oranges that you can see there on your screen. But let's get you out. That first alert this crash that I'm following for you here in Hartford. DOT is reporting it's involving two vehicles but you can see we've got that right and center lane blocked off. So traffic is definitely backing up through the area. It's very slow going. If you are heading through Hartford here, 84 eastbound, give yourself plenty of time to get through. I'm Caitlin Francis with your Connecticut Chevy First Alert Traffic Report, driven by your Connecticut Chevy dealers. All right, thanks, Kate. We want to get right back to that breaking news we've been following for you in Waterbury, where police are investigating inside a party event space right off of Route 69. That's right. Iowa News reporter Olivia Schuler has the latest breaking details straight from police. So, Olivia, what have you learned so far? Roger, Waterbury police tell us this is a homicide investigation. You can see behind me that there are several police cruisers here working in front of that slow blue neak event space. Now, there is some caution tape outside the business, and one of the doors there is wide open. And according to the business's website, there's two event spaces there. Now, Waterbury police say they are investigating a homicide at 117 Sharon Road, which the map shows is an area just behind so blue neak. Police say the incident took place in the early morning hours. Right now, it's not clear what caused the incident. Police are very early in their investigation. They're not sharing the name of the victim or if they have a suspect in custody this morning. There are some cars sitting in the parking lot here. However, online, it says the event space is closed on Sundays and open during the week starting at 11 a.m. You can see that this is still a very active situation going on here right now. Police are investigating. So as soon as we have more information, you'll be the first to know here are on the Channel 3 News app. We're live this morning in Waterbury, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Olivia, thank you. Right now, we're also working to get new information about a big house fire in Middletown. Flames ripped through a house on East Street last night, and crews were able to get everybody out safely, but we don't know if anybody was injured. We will keep you posted, though, as soon as we learn new information. Also, state police say that they need your help in piecing together a rollover crash that happened in Manchester. Take a look at this. Crews had to cut down several trees yesterday afternoon just to get the car out and rescue two people after this crash took place on 84 westbound. At this point, it's still unclear how it all happened, but the fire department said that both people were badly hurt. And if you know anything about this crash, please give state police a call. And right now, two firefighters are recovering after they were injured in a garage fire in Cromwell. Crews from multiple departments rushed out to that scene on Crest Drive. Now, luckily, no one inside that house was hurt. But again, two firefighters were injured. The good news, though, is they are expected to be all right. And a man accused of kidnapping and attacking a woman will be facing a judge in Waterbury today. Police say Brian Lambert dragged the victim through a wooded area Friday and then forced her into his car and drove off. Responding officers were able to use ping technology to track down the car in Oxford. Officers pulled Lambert's car over at Southford Falls State Park and arrested him and got the victim right out of his car. Lambert's arraignment is today at Waterbury Superior Court. 
And another kidnapping suspect will also appear in court later today after reportedly stealing a car with a three-year-old little boy in the back seat. A month and a half ago, police say Vadim Vorobyov stole a red Toyota Camry from Chicopee, Massachusetts with that little boy inside. Now, after driving down to Connecticut, he allegedly dropped off the boy at the Roadway Inn in East Windsor before eventually heading to a shopping plaza on Kennedy Road in Windsor. Police were able to track down the car just as a Roadway employee reported the child being left on the property. The good news is that boy was completely unharmed. And prosecutors in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial appear to be in the home stretch of laying out their case. Today, they'll call Trump's fixer turned foe, Michael Cohen, to take the sand. Cohen is expected to lay out his account that he paid adult film star Stormy Daniels $130,000 to hide an alleged sexual encounter with Trump ahead of the 2016 election. Trump denies any wrongdoing and railed against the criminal trial to a crowd of supporters in New Jersey over the weekend, calling it a, quote, Biden show trial. And also new this morning, jury selection is set to begin today in the federal corruption trial of New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez. The Democrat, and along with his wife, are both accused of taking bribes from Egypt and Qatar in exchange for political favors. Now, prosecutors say Menendez accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes, even some gold bars to fund his lavish lifestyle. Senator Menendez denies doing anything wrong. Melissa? All right, thanks, Roger. Well, we're waking up to some sunshine this morning, which is nice to see on a Monday morning. Taking a look at our satellite and radar picture across the Northeast, not a whole lot going on locally. There are some showers back off to our north and west, and they will be advancing off to the east today, but we do think most of them will stay to the north of the Connecticut border, though there's a chance that one or two may brush sections of northern Connecticut. But for the most part, we are looking high and dry today with a fair amount of sunshine. We'll check out First Alert Futurecast as I put this into motion. You can see just a few clouds and notice a couple little specks of green likely later tonight if we do see a passing shower and then as we head towards tomorrow we've got a fair amount of sunshine in the forecast too and tomorrow's temperatures will be even warmer than today today will be close to 70 tomorrow in the mid and upper 70s here's what it looks like in middletown right now we do have some fog that is lifting but notice that sunshine and blue sky looking good so if you have plans to be out in the garden today uh, you'll need the sunscreen out there temperatures up near 70 with again a fair amount of sunshine a little cooler along the shoreline i'll be back in a bit with a closer look at the forecast